Hey everybody, it's your good buddy 650 Eve here and welcome to episode 2 of the new bike. Thank you, Zach. You're welcome. Episode 2 of the new bike build series. If you're not familiar, this is where we take a 2018 S1000 double R and we turn this bike into something that I'd be proud to ride on these cold and filthy streets of Cleveland, Ohio. We're at Sills BMW with my good buddy Zach. Hey, how's it going everybody? Hey. Got so it's for another season, all right? Yes. It's this one right here. Yep. Let's see if we got a key. Like Our good buddy Dominic has the key. He's too far away. But in today's episode, before we get started working on the 2018 S1000 RR Motorsports that I purchased from Sills BMW and we're going to transform into an awesome, awesome machine, I want to show you the future of the instrument panels for the upcoming S1000 RR. This GS. Maybe even the ignition. Oh, yeah. As you can see, there's nowhere to put the key up here. Oh, so sweet. it's just like, uh, just like your car. You just need the fob. You can keep it in your pocket and uh, walk up and turn your motorcycle on. Awesome. But this is the neat feature. Thin film transistor display full color. So this is what you can look at while you're going down the road. Mm -hmm. um, you can toggle through all your stuff up top there. Average speed, what your tire pressure is once the wheels get spinning. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's this other screen, the My Vehicle screen. Look at that. And it shows you uh, exactly what your oil temperature is, uh, coolant temperature, how many miles still empty, what your battery's charging at, what your tire pressure's at. Wow. If you have any messages right now, it's saying that it would need its first service it is coming up. Sure. Um, then you can go to the right, it tells you what the message is. Trip computer stuff. Wow. This screen tells you what your specified tire pressure is, what your <laughs> tires are actually. Okay. I don't know what the other line is. Yeah, yeah. And that's about that for... Um, it has ride modes, that's what's showing up there, dynamic. Oh yeah. Enduro, rain, rain. road, and then it is switch and then it shows. Oh, wow. And you can always get back to your... And then... These bikes are also going to come with a connectivity package, they call it. Probably mm -hmm. going to work best with your iPhone, but um, you can then get navigation straight from your phone, and the navigation is going to show up on the screen. Oh, wow. Your media is going to show up on the screen, any music or whatever. Mm -hmm. Telephone. Caller ID, ID and all will that? show up. Contacts? Yep, and you can, uh, you can transport your contact list in to make phone calls. That is sweet, man. And so we have a suspicion that this technology may trickle down to the, the 2019 all-new S1000 RR. That would be amazing if we mm -hmm. had a tech like that and a speedometer and huge gear position indicator and yeah. color. Ambient temperature and all that's right there. Yep. It's about 34 degrees today, Zach. What the heck are we going to be doing to the S1000? Well, we're going to stay nice and warm inside the shop yeah. for most of this. <laughs> okay. uh, you've seen us take it out of the crate. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead with, and show what happens in the next step, if, uh, just like if you were a customer and you were purchasing a bike, so bike would have came off the truck, taken out of the crate, and now, as you can see, it's only partially assembled mm -hmm. and hasn't been started yet, battery's not hooked up or anything, so we have to do what's called a PDI to it, okay. pre-delivery inspection. Okay. Uh, so part of that is coming over, we go to the computer, type in the VIN number, and we get our checklist, just like the first service one looked like sure. from the first video. And it tells us what we need to install um, to charge the battery, connect the battery, fill the gas tank up, check the chain, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Take it for a ride, and then uh, then it would get handed over to the customer. So we're gotcha. just going to show what happens on an S1000. So if you purchase one, you know what's going on behind the scenes. Sweet, man. Well, thank you. First thing I believe it has us do is uh, put the left and right engine spoilers on. So we're going to do that. We also got to check all that stuff that came in the bags. Toolkit, owner's manual. These are the bolts for the battery. Okay. The slick mode plug. Do you normally in, 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 install that slick mode plug for the customers, or you leave it up Anymore, to them? Anymore, I usually do just put it in because yeah. you have to choose it. It's an option on the dash. You know? Sure. We got to put this air guide on. First thing I like to do is dump out all the hardware and separate it. It's like putting a model together. I see that. Just get a bunch yeah. of pieces. I was never really good at that. No? No. 
I was alright until it came to the painting part. Yeah, I would lose all my parts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got them together and then I'd go to paint it and I'd use like the wrong paint and it would melt and disaster. <laughs> so how many miles do these bikes usually come with from the factory? Uh, most times it's it actually says zero. Mm -hmm. I think they reset the dashes to say that. Okay. But uh, I know they all run them on a dynamic dyno there. Uh, sometimes they say one or two miles. That's the highest I've ever seen is like two. Gotcha. And then we used to have to put 15 miles on them, 15 to 20, but they dropped that to 10. So that's kind of nice because it takes a little bit to get 15, 20 miles on something like traffic glitch, you know? Yeah. With every bike that we'd sell. So it's nice that it's down to like eight miles. Okay. We try to put eight or 10 on them. Just make sure everything's working. Mm -hmm. um, there's been issues in the past where like uh, something was assembled wrong at the factory and yeah. five miles down the road it broke on us. It looks oh. a lot better if it breaks on us and we have time to fix it than the customer. That's why, yep. that's why it's done. And then uh, before we modify them, we got to put brake in miles on it just to make sure we have a good baseline, you know? Yes. Everything's working like it's supposed to. Uh, these engines are built super tight tolerances. Mm -hmm. Like, I think I think it's two thousandths of a millimeter, which is insanely tight. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, we have to break it in slowly so all the pieces mate together and don't wind up seizing and causing oh. issues. But uh, all right. I got everything separated here. Uh, we had this panel mocked up before, so... It's ready to go on. We just had to put these rubber pieces in. They're already in there. Okay. And I like to take two long screws because they'll hold this up nicely. Oh, I see we got a zip tie. Right here. Right here. This tie is just here for shipping to hold this air guide in place. Gotcha. We'll get that out of there. And we got to put a couple of these body clips on here. So while we still have the bike up in the air on the lift, we're gonna go ahead and install this air guide. Okay. It just helps route air to the uh, radiator. It fits in between your fork legs. All right, those guys are snugged up. We're just gonna clean off all that sloppy wax goo from the chain. because It's easier to clean off now than it is to clean it off from the wheels and everything later. Gotcha. Yeah, that is a bit quite a bit of goo yeah. in there. I don't know what the what they're worried about. <laughs> Someone owns a chain lube company. Yeah. Again, the first bike we took out, we didn't do this to, and there was just chain lube everywhere. Gotcha. It took like an hour to clean it all off. So, it works way easier to do it. Now. Using the Honda chain cleaner, that seems to work the best. Yep. Just leave that sit for a couple minutes. We'll check the tire pressure while we're leaving it. Okay. To soak in. I think that's as good as we're going to get. Yeah, it looks good to me. Spray a little bit of the chain loop with molly on it okay just to make sure that it doesn't wind up getting rusty at all yep even though it's most likely coming right back off right yeah yeah because we'll be doing chain and sprockets i already had this battery charged up before okay so we're good to go there sometimes they have a spot to mark when you charged it this one doesn't okay put that guy back in there what do you think? We're we leaving the battery. We're we gonna try to get a lighter one. This one's well, we are gonna get a lithium-ion battery. Not our good too bad. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's not bad. But Probably. our good friends at Moto Million is sending us a lithium-ion battery. Nice. Mm-hmm. So we should have that in a couple days. But I'm guessing you need a battery today for your test ride. We do need a battery today. So <laughs> okay. Go ahead, hook this one up. So now what's left? Well, the checks checked out. Okay. So mm -hmm. we're gonna put a. Dealer tag on it, we'll go take it for that eight mile ride we were talking about. Sweet. Make sure everything functions like it's supposed to, mm -hmm. get through all the gears, uh, try to roll through the power band because this is actually its initial braking. Okay. We warmed up once and now we just run it through the power, not quickly, not leaving it wide open, but rolling through it. Then it cools back down and has a bunch more braking periods. 
Well, it's 34 degrees outside today, so I'll try to have some hot chocolate there for <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, you can have some hot chocolate. <laughs> Come back. Nice. Yeah. Hey, it's 34 degrees out there. He's got to do what it takes. Need all the traction I can get. Yeah. Oh, snow it's hard. snowing on him, man. Yes. You're right. die hard. Good luck. <laughs> so, Zach is taking your 2018 S1000RR that we just purchased from Sills BMW. We just did the PDI um, first service out of the crate on the motorcycle, and it is really, really chilly out here. Uh, Maybe I'll leave that open for him just a little bit. He'll be back in just a few moments after putting eight break-in miles on the bike. I heard Zach returning all the way in the building. He was riding it very spirited in this 34 degree temperatures with snow flurries in the air. If that's not dedication, then I really don't know what is, but he's riding. <laughs> Your 2018 S1000 Double R Motorsport. I've got to open the garage for him. Take it inside. There he is. Good. Checks out well? Checks out well. How was your ride in these temperatures? Oh, uh, it's a little chilly. Okay, yeah. Heated grips were appreciated. Yeah. Wow. Everything works as it should, though. And uh, it was a good ride overall. All right, so All that right. does it then for the, this episode? The PDI, right? Next step would be uh, the bike would get handed over to the customer. Awesome. We'll mark in the book the day it was uh, completed. And that's about it. Awesome. Well, thanks, Zach. All right. We'll catch thanks, you guys. Everybody. Yes. Catch you in the next video. All right. So that does it. Zach has done a complete PDI on your 2018 S1000RR from here at Sills BMW. So that's going to wrap up episode two, season two of the New Bike Build Series. And it's so cold out here. I'm going to wrap this up really quick. Thank you guys for supporting the New Bike Build Series. More videos are coming. And it's all going to wrap up in early February when we hand this motorcycle off to one of our awesome supporters, one of you that's watching this video right now. So, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel by clicking subscribe. New videos are constantly uploaded to the 650E YouTube channel. Not just new bike build videos, but all sorts of videos, alright? So, thanks again. Stay tuned for more, and as always, thanks for viewing. We'll catch you next time from cold ass, 34 degrees, Cleveland, Ohio, and Sills BMW.